another incredible car, supercar blondie here at the Geneva International Motor Show. This is the launch of the Pinin Farina. For the very first time, they have developed their own hypercar. And this is, come over here, called the Batista, right here. Right, let me talk you through it because this car is something incredible. 1900 horsepower. 1900 horsepower, just let that sink in for a moment. Zero to 60 in under two seconds. That's like, I'm just trying to compare it to something else. You know, like the Tesla Roadster, when that was announced, how quick it was gonna be, everyone was like, no way, it's not possible, it's not possible, under two seconds and you're at 100 kilometers an hour. That is how fast this car is. You would have to make sure your neck is on the back of the seat before you hit the gas. Otherwise, your neck is gonna be thrown back. Within that split second, you're already at like 50 kilometers an hour, like this. Boom, 50 kilometers an hour in that split second. Now, let me take you around the car. It is fully electric. It has four electric motors, two in the back, two in the front. So each one is providing almost 500 horsepower. The other thing is, where is the batteries, right? In a Tesla, the batteries are just laid down across the floor of the car, right? What they've done is they've made it into a, like a T, like this. So the batteries are along this line here in the middle and along here at the back of the car. Now, two advantages with that. It means there's more weight at the back. Because there's no batteries on the left or the right of the car, it means that it's out of the way in case there's any anything would happen. Say if you're in a crash, it's trying to make the car safer. So they're moving the batteries towards the center of the car, right? The other thing is there are only gonna be 150 of these cars made. So orders are already going in and it's flying, flying at some of its design features. This is quite cool. This is a floating carbon piece here and the air intake is around here. So what happens is it drives air through here and also through here along this line behind this piece, over this piece, down through here. It goes all the way down through that piece and then out through the wing like this. is super, super easy. Just a quick click of that button and you've got the door open. This is the interior. So I want to show you this, come over here. Look at this uh, side mirror. If you look at it from this angle, it's got this beautiful piece over here, right? And I said, well, what's that for? Pure design, it looks cool. What about having a, a camera? as a side mirror, right? That's kind of a trend. A lot of manufacturers looking to go that way. So there's just a tiny little camera here somewhere on the car and you see the vision from inside, from a, uh, a little screen on the inside of the car. They didn't do that because it would use more battery power. So they wanted to make sure that the battery power is put to the best use and that's for the speed and the power of the actual car. So they ditched that and they went for the traditional side mirrors. If you come around the front, You've got this beautiful branding here of Pininfarina because of course this is a real moment for the manufacturer. This is the first time that they're developing their own hypercar. Up until now they have been teaming up with other manufacturers as a design house to recreate the bodies of certain models of cars but now for the very first time this is their own hypercar it's no secret that these guys have teamed up with remac to use their technology when you look at the power of the car it's pretty much the same as what you're going to get in the remac but where they differentiate themselves is the remac is more a track focused car and this car is more a GT, it's a Grand Tourer, and it's meant to be used as a daily driver, or it can be used as a daily driver, let's put it that way, so it's much more user-friendly. What they focus on is all the finishing touches, so let's just get in. They've got all of the premium, you know, leather and premium options, and you can personalize it everywhere. We'll go through the personalization features in a little bit, but this is the interior. Batista written here. I mean, it's just so detail focused. 
This is the new badge of Pininfarina. This is going to be where you switch from drive, neutral to reverse, and that's all that will, one will do. And then on the side here, you've got all the different driving modes, so you can change that around to the different driving modes. They've really limited the buttons, the number of buttons in the car. Almost everything is controlled on these two screens right in front of the steering wheel. This screen, this screen, and buttons on the steering wheel. So you're not kind of looking around for, you know, open door latches and all of this different stuff. Sometimes it can be a little bit distracting. If you've got everything on the wheel in front of you, or you can see it just either side, then your focus is completely in, in the front and on the road. Okay. Look at, these, look at this lighting here in the back. I just absolutely love this. It's just all these little details. The blue lighting through the seats here and on the stereo system. What you can do is personalize all of this. So you see this carbon fiber here. You can change that to say, for example, blue carbon fiber if you want to. This lip here, this is an option. This is usually just in gray, but if you want that to be a little bit more aggressive, you can turn that into a blue. When you're charging an electric car at the moment, usually that charger is here on the side somewhere. On this car, it's here at the back and they really wanted this to be kind of a badge a badge of honor for people to see and they wanted to show off the fact that it is an electric car so they put it in full view here right on the back so that everyone can see and when it charges it lights up and it also glows it flashes like this so I'm looking forward to seeing all of those details on one charge it can go 450 kilometers and I think that's pretty much it until we get the chance to drive it that's what we know currently about the Batista, Pininfarina's first ever hypercar. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a quick thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel because we've got so many cool cars coming. For now, I'm out. Love you.